Here are must-have iPad apps for every student in 2025 that's focused on note-taking and productivity. If you can study for two hours instead of four and get the same, if not better results, wouldn't you? My freshman year, I held a 4.0 GPA, and I personally believe in studying smarter and not harder. So here are the apps that I used and recommend, and more importantly, how you can actually use them to do better in school. Whether you're trying to actually understand what your professor said, or remember 137 vocab words, or stop forgetting that assignment that was due yesterday, I've got you covered. And for some reason, if you decide to meet me at the end of this video, I'll show you the three best study tools to help you crush it in school. This video is split into two parts. The first part is all about the main apps that are super helpful. The second part, well, those are the other apps that still do their thing. They're just underrated. First up, ChatGPT. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Isn't that just for writing essays last minute at 3 a.m.? Absolutely not. ChatGPT is a tool. Now let me show you how to use it for actual note taking and staying productive. Take your messy lecture notes that look like ancient code. Copy and paste them into ChatGPT and say, Chat, can you summarize this into bullet points for studying? Boom! Now you have organized study notes that don't look like they were written by someone who was running off of five hours of sleep. Okay, but what about when your professor starts saying words like macroeconomic equilibrium or molecular orbital theory? and your brain just gives up. Well, pick up your phone and say, chat, explain this concept to me in less than five minutes. Or give me a real world example of this. Now you might actually get it. You can also ask ChatGPT to make a five multiple choice question based on this chapter. Suddenly you've got a quiz and you just became your own teacher. Pro tip, keep a ChatGPT thread per subject. It's like having many AIs dedicated to whatever subject you have, like math, bio, or just trying to pass statistics. I'm tired of seeing all those sticky notes that you've left on your laptop, fridge, or mirror? Well, that's exactly why you would need Google Keep. P.S. I've been using this since middle school and I'm obsessed. Keep is perfect for taking pictures of your papers, notes, or study guides and immediately turning them into text. Typing class to do notes and writing that one quote that your teacher swore wouldn't be on the exam. Unlike your brain, Google Keep reminds you with notifications. Hey, remember that Spanish quiz at 2 p.m.? Grass says keep, te llamo. Pro tip, use voice notes during lectures when you're too tired to type. Then later throw them into ChatGPT for some reason. I do this one all the time. The app that somehow makes memorizing flashcards almost fun. Let's talk about Quizlet. Type in your vocab list, key terms, or equations. Add definitions, examples, or even images. And Quizlet will turn them into flashcards, matching games, and practice tests. Picture this, you're in anatomy and you have to learn the 78 parts of the human brain. Make a set and Quizlet will help you memorize it without wanting to launch your iPad into the sun. Let's be honest here, you're more likely to study when it feels like a game and not a punishment. But KT, what if I don't want to make my own cards? Well, you can search for public sets from a specific class, from a specific teacher, or even better, upload your notes and let Quizlet AI do the heavy lifting. Welcome to 2025, guys. Pro tip, study in small batches, 15 minutes a day, and your brain will thank you. And your grades probably will too. Now here's where the real magic happens, using all three apps together. Let's walk through a real world example. During class, you take messy notes on your iPad. After class, you drop your messy notes into ChatGPT and say, chat, summarize this chapter for studying. Clean, simplified notes. Now you'll create a quick reminder in Google Keep so that you see it across all devices. Revealed World War II flashcards Thursday, 8 p.m. To make sure that we really know what we're talking about, study with Quizlet's learn mode. Beat your high score and feel smarter than your past self. Now you've gone from, ugh, I just don't get it, to I might actually really do well on this test. Now for the underrated apps. First up, Notability. If you haven't tried this one yet, maybe you should. And here's why. You can take notes by hand or type them out. Record lectures while you write. And later, tap on any word and it'll jump to that part of the recording. So let's say your professor starts talking through quantum mechanics like they're being chased. No problem, just hit record and write down keywords like wave particles. And later, when you're not panicking, you can go back to exactly what was said. It's like a rewind button, but for your brain. Pro tip, use different colors for key points, examples, and stuff that's definitely gonna be on the exam, but the professor pretended like it wasn't. Now, if you're more of a good notes person, totally valid. I call this one the aesthetic queen of note-taking apps. 
GoodNote 6 brings customizable digital notebooks, flashcards, built-in, and surge for handwritten notes. Let's say you're going over your bio exam and forget what the mitochondria does. Well, all you have to do is search it and boom, the powerhouse of the cell. If you're into digital planning, GoodNotes has in built some planners and templates that'll make your to-do list for you. Next up, Todoist. I think I'm saying that right. This app has one job. So make sure that you don't forget your other jobs. With this, you can set up reminders for assignments, project deadlines, and the thing you promised your group partner that you would do three weeks ago. But KT, how does this help me? Let's say you have three assignments due next week in a club meeting in your roommate's dog's birthday. Todoist will help you schedule by due dates and get notifications so that you're never blindsided by that last minute Canva assignment. Okay, let's talk about Notion. And no, this video isn't sponsored yet. Seriously though, as a student, Notion can upgrade your academic game. You can build class dashboard, reading trackers, weekly study plans, and link notes and resources. Let's just say you're taking psychology, sociology, and philosophy. Create a master database of your readings, deadlines, and notes all in one spot. Link your notes to your calendar and add tags like do soon and help me. And I'm definitely just gonna wing this. Does the setup take time? Yes. But once it's done, it's totally worth it. And you'll feel a lot better. Let's be honest, the iPad is powerful, but it also can be very dangerous. One second you're studying and the next, you're watching Mr. Beast on YouTube. And that's where Forest comes in. It's a focus timer where you can grow a tree by not touching your screen. Touch it and your tree dies. And nobody wants to be a tree killer. The Lorex. You can set a 25 minute timer to review your chemistry notes. Stay focused and the tree grows. Do this a few times a day and you'll have a full forest and slightly better grades. PDFs are everywhere in school. Lectures, slide notes, and readings. But with PDF Expert, you can highlight, write comments, and fill in forms. Let's say your professor uploads 90 slides the night before class. Instead of screaming, just import into PDF Expert, highlight important parts, and add questions to review later. Pro tip, it works great with Apple Pencil. Okay, real quick though, a few bonus iPad tips to level up your study game. Use Split View to have good notes on one side and Safari on the other. It's like cheating, but ethically. Turn on focus mode to silent distractions during study session. KT, love it in, bro. Back up your notes. Don't be that person that loses everything the night before. You don't have to do everything the hard way anymore. Let the app do the boring parts for you so that you can focus on learning, creating, and maybe for once, doing eight hours of sleep. ChatGPT is your AI powered tutor, editor, and quiz maker. Google Keep is your digital brain sticky notes. And Quizlet is your memory's new best friend. And remember, the goal isn't to study more, it's to study smarter. Watching videos about studying and productivity, that's a start. But it means nothing if you don't actually do anything after this video. I like to think that I'm pretty smart, but my teammates are definitely smarter than me. So I'm gonna ask them what their GPA is and what tools they use on their iPad to help them get a high GPA. So what's your grade point average? Uh, 4.0. Okay, and what study tool slash app do you use on your iPad? Definitely the Notes app. Notes app? I am a visual learner, so I just take notes when they're talking and then I look back over that and then 10 minutes before the next class. 4.06. Quizlet. What's your grade point average? I had a 4.79. Okay. I just like taking notes and then I would highlight key ideas and review those before class. That's pretty good. So what's your grade point average? 3.7. Um, I actually use the ability the most. So what we learn in my classes is that if you write down your notes, you're gonna remember things better. And I write so much on my iPad. And if I don't use my iPad, I use my actual physical notebook. Um, that's just how I learn physically, so. 3.8. I use Notability and Quizlet, because I can do flashcards and quizzes and stuff like that. Like a 3.8 chat GPT to help with my resources. That's what's up. Okay. It's probably stupid. It's for the video. Shirt, mouth, check. Here we go.